Hello, in this video let me show you how to add some still backgrounds and motion backgrounds to Verse View. So let's open up Verse View and then navigate to the Graphics tab. Here you can see a preview of the selected uh, graphics. And then here you can see the motion backgrounds and here you can see some of the still backgrounds. So click on this Add button to add uh, JPEGs, PNGs and MP4 files as your background files. So here we have some backgrounds. Let's go ahead and add this background right here. And then click on add again. And let's add this background for motion background. So as you can see, those backgrounds are showing up in the motion backgrounds. And then you click on add. And let's add a still background, this one right here. And click OK. And that's added in the still background. So let's look at first to set up a logo. So here is a file and or a picture. So I click on that and then I click a set as logo. So now the selected logo image shows up on the right side here. So now let's set up the motion background for our presentation. So here, let's go ahead and select this background right here and click on set as background. As you can see, this is a grayscale image. So WordSuite 10 has an amazing feature where you can add an overlay color. So go ahead and click on this overlay button right here. And now you can come in here and select different colors for your motion background. So let, let me just go ahead and pick this color right here. And click set. And you can see that color has been set up here. And now let's go ahead and do a presentation. As you can see, the lyrics is being presented here. And look at the background. It's got the motion background with that particular overlay color. So if we come back to graphics and let's try a different overlay color. So let's say this time a cyan blue color tint. So that's selected. And we come back to the same lyrics and you click on it. And there you go. That's the same background, same motion background, but with the bluish uh, overlay color on it. So now let's look at a still background. So here is one, a grayscale image. I'm going to set that as a background. And I can do the same. I can do an overlay color. So let's do a dark blue tint over here. And click OK. And then we come to the lyrics and we present it. There is our background with blue overlay. So one other thing we could do is let's go back to um, this background and let's set that as a background. And this already has color, so we can have a overlay color if we want to. But if you don't want an overlay color, then just go ahead and click this X um, icon right here. So now you don't have an overlay background color. So now if we go back and do a presentation, now you can see a beautiful presentation. So let me show you one more thing. So here you have these text color options. So if you click on the text one, and I can choose, let's say, a yellowish tint. And then for text two, let's go ahead and do a green or maybe a little more cyan kind of color. So now if you come to any presentation that has a primary and secondary language, you can see that the upper one will be the text one color and the lower one will have the text two color. And let me show one more thing. We have already selected this as our logo. So if you come and click this button right here that says logo presentation, that'll immediately take you to the logo presentation. So this is a quick rundown of uh, the graphics or the background feature in Verseview 10. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please leave your comments. Love to hear how you uh, are using this, so let me know. Uh, thank you once again for using words for you.